you guys we are back again with another video I got a special one for you guys today first thing I'm doing is uh, we're headed out to a lake try and get some bait grab some bluegill some sunfish maybe a couple bullhead anything I can get I'm gonna do some camping tonight I'm gonna go out and uh, fish the Fox River overnight might even stay two nights uh, hopefully maybe do a little bit of catch and cook I'm trying to get a big flathead but uh, with my luck I'll probably just get some channels so uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Might be a little bit longer of a video. So uh, first stop, I'll see you when we get to the lake, get some bait. Well, just got to the spot, super windy. Just got some night crawlers. My little trusty Frabo bucket, love this thing. And then I got a nice little light action set up. So let's get over there. It's pretty hot out, pretty windy. Don't know if the fish are gonna be biting. Might have to uh, try a couple different spots. Oh boy. Oh, kinda, kinda steep right here. Coming up on uh, this first spot I want to try out real quick. Not somewhere that I fish often, but I know there's fish in here. Oh. Get my worms out. Give it the old pinch. Got it on a real small hook with a bobber. Bobber that's knotted up, which is not good, but you will live with it. I'm gonna throw it right over by these lily pads. All right, super windy still. Spot number one was a fail. So I'm at spot number two, which is just a different spot of the river that I normally fish. See if I can get a couple bluegill. I just ran to the bait shop and grabbed some uh, shiners, just in case. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but got everything ready. Unfortunately, um, really windy. Couldn't catch any bluegill. Tried like three different spots. Got a bunch of uh, nice size shiners, golden roaches, whatever you want to call them. So I'm about to head out. Got everything packed up, got my rods in the trunk. Yeah, got about an hour and a half drive to the river. Gonna be staying there overnight, so see you guys there. All right, after a nice little drive, Seems like we have arrived. This lady was nice enough to leave me some firewood. And when I told you guys that we were on the river, I mean, we are on the river. So, shit, I mean, nothing left to do but get some poles out in the water. Hopefully I can get a bluegill or something. I swear, these shiners better catch me some fish tonight if not. All right, see you in a second. All right, you guys, I got three poles out right now. So uh, next order of business, I would like to do some bass fishing, see if I can get a couple of smallmouth or something, but I really, really, really would like to catch a bluegill first. Need cut bait or live bait if I can get a couple. All I got is those uh, golden roaches or shiners, whatever you want to call them. So 
yeah, I'm gonna throw some night crawlers and just pray to the fish lords that there's a bluegill hiding around here somewhere. Got to listen from our other poles. Do have a bunch of shiners out on them, so I guess we'll just have to see real quick. Throw a nice little worm on, just see what happens. I tried to catch bait, as you guys are probably going to see, but uh, just had no luck today. I had a couple of bites. I think it had a lot to do with how windy it was. It was crazy windy. It's nice now. Beautiful, beautiful weather. But um, earlier it was like 25 mile an hour winds. So definitely not ideal when it comes to catching bait fish. I don't know where the bait fish all go, but um, seems like when it's windy in most of my spots, it's real tough to catch them. Bluegill would do me some good right now. Update. It's a little bit later. Sun just went down. Eating a nice sub sandwich from the store. The bugs are vicious, so go ahead and uh, get back to the fishing. No bites yet. Just started though. Oh yeah, guys. We're on. Oh, no way. Did he pop? Oh no, he's on. He's on. Yes, sir. We are on a fish, guys. came back from uh, grabbing some firewood and I heard something and here we are <sighs> all right you guys my GoPro died but uh, as soon as I got him to the shore or at least close my GoPro died I don't know you guys will see some of it but finally got a fish been out here for a while got my first bite first nice fish whoa whoa relax buddy uh, real nice channel cat, probably about a six, seven pounder. I'm not gonna bother weighing him because he's not huge. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna put this guy in the cooler with some ice and uh, we'll do a nice catch and cook. Eat this guy tomorrow for lunch. So yeah, pretty nice little fish. Not gonna do a release video because like I said, we're eating him. All the fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do we got here? Nice. Another real nice channel. Oh, he's a big one. Chunky. Oh man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a nice size channel cat. Oh, all right. Go ahead and uh, get a nice video for you guys. All right, you guys. We got another real nice size channel catfish here. This one's probably a little bit bigger. Same thing, seven, maybe eight pounds. Real nice catfish though. Whoa, oh, blooper alert. Got a whole lot of blood on me, so that's good. He managed to unhook himself. Maybe I could hold him still this time. Let me go ahead and throw him back. Whoa, since uh, seems like he's ready to go. Nice fish. Same thing, got him using the uh, shiners that I'm using. Go ahead and let him go. No small mouth. Getting everything packed up to go. 
Nice little trip. Get a couple catfish. I'm gonna go home and uh, fillet this guy up for lunch. So, see you guys as soon as I get home. What's up, guys? We are back home about to make this catfish for lunch. And I got everything that I use right here. Got an egg, milk. This part's optional. A little bit of that Frank's Red Hot seasoning. Got your oil that you're gonna fry it in. And, you know, just some regular fish fry. Catfish. Got a bag that I throw it in to bread it. But the first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this catfish, take the egg out, and I'm gonna soak it in milk. You're gonna do that for about 15 minutes. So I'll get back to you after that. Step two, for me at least, mix your Frank's Red Hot with your fish fry in a bag. Next up, we're gonna crack this egg, add a little bit of milk and stir it because that's what we are gonna use to soak these fillets to get the breading on. Add your oil to whatever you're using to cook it in. Not too much, not too little. All right, from here, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna soak and let it run off and I'm gonna add it to this. If you did it right, this is what it's gonna look like. Beautiful. Cooking up this catfish. Just cook it up for, uh, you know, a minute or two. Goes fast. Flip it and you're done. See you guys on the other side. All right, my friends. First piece is done. Looking absolutely delicious. Enjoy. Man, my mouth is watering. Look at this, guys. Absolutely cooked to perfection. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chow down. Well, time to eat. Ooh, I feel hot. Well, you guys like this video. Appreciate you even watching it. Could uh, drop me a subscribe, maybe like the video. Getting close to 500.